At first glance, the cart doesn't look like much as a racing vehicle. Four squat wheels, a frame, and one or several lawnmower-type motors, and that's about it. For last, I thought I'd try one out. And with the help of some British soldiers stationed near the race course, I managed to squeeze onto a cart. It's quite an experience. No gears, no clutch, and no starter. With a push, I was off. I was only driving about 30 miles an hour on the straight. But because there's no wind protection, and you're sitting a few inches off the ground, it felt as though I were going around 80. And they told me that some of the three engine carts are capable of hitting 100 on the straight. Of course, the younger drivers have much less powerful carts. And that, I think, is the class that I belong in. How's it going, Chris? It's not going so good. I'm pushing on gas like that. It's, it's not, it's, I'm, it's, I'm not going fast. What's it doing? Well, it's just going slow when I push on the gas. You're not getting enough gas? Is it jerking on you? Uh, it's jerking too. When I push on the gas, it just goes slow. Go slow. All right, we'll fix that for you then. What's the matter with this, Dad? Cutting out and sputtering. Now, Corky, I, I changed the clutch springs. This is only a, a Comet centrifugal clutch. This is only a 12 and a half pound pull. I put a 22 in there so that when you come out of turns, it will uh, act like you're riding the clutch, but it will rev up faster and give you more torque. The whole thing started as a very simple Christmas gift to my son. Then we bought one for my daughter's 13th birthday. I ride in them, my husband rides in them, and we've just become a carting family. Everything else has gone by the wayside. Well, we gotta get that straight back. What you use? We don't fish anymore, we don't swim anymore. We simply cart, and we love it. There's no enough to tell you that. The whole family After just carts. That's one reason why this new racing sport became so popular in just a few years. The whole family at practically every age level can participate. Karting officials have devised classes of carts to accommodate each age level. This race is for the junior carters, and these youngsters are crazy about this ear-piercing sport. Besides the thrills of racing competition, there is that incredible sensation of speed and the realization that Except for the difference in horsepower, they're on a par with the adult driver. And there they go, burning up the course and shattering the Bahamian afternoon with those two-cycle engines. There are 19 corners on this course, and the kids, even six-year-old Chris Miller, quickly learn the hand, foot, and body shifts that are necessary to maintain maximum speed. Among the virtues of the carts is the fact that they're practically impossible to overturn because of the extremely low center of gravity, a comforting thought to the young carter and parent alike. Oh, that was great. A kiss for the winner. And a pertinent comment from one of the senior drivers about his reactions to racing against the younger drivers of both sexes. Well, I think this sport is a very good thing for the children. And I'm all for them driving, but I don't like to drive with them. Uh, they make it pretty hard for us to compete because of their weight. They get more speed out of the cart. The cart handles a little bit better for them. And uh, we also hate to take a chance on hurting the kids. When I'm on the track, I don't give or take, and I don't expect the men to give or take anything. I'm very pleased that they accept me on the track with the men. We get a little bit rough, and I think that they should stay in their own classes. Occasionally, the competitive instinct pushes the older drivers too far, such as wielding small baseball bats on the courts. The rough stuff continues until... If you want to fight, I'll set a ring up over there for you. But we came to race. We heard there was some dirty driving. We're not going to have it here, and I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. But if it continues, 
the man will be disqualified. With, so if you get a black flag, don't even come and argue with us. We won't even listen to you. Now, that's fair enough. We'll make one rule for everybody, and then nobody can say that we have discriminated. Uh, everybody gets the same treatment, and we'll call the shots up here if necessary. Now, let's uh, get back to having some fun. We got off on a fine footing. Let's keep that footing, eh, fellas? And take these damn bats away, will you? Come on, let's go race. Guard against razor scratch. Guard against razor scratch. Now there's a new instant lather that guards against razor scratch because it doesn't dry out on your face. Instead, it stays moist and creamy, keeps whiskers wet and soft all through your shave. It's Rye's patented small bubble lather, the richest, wettest lather ever made. Rye's wetter lather puts more moisture into whiskers, keeps them wet and soft all through your shave. Guards against razor scratch, gives you closer, more comfortable shaves in half the time. Guard against razor scratch. Shave with Rise, the wetter lather that doesn't dry out on your face. And only Rise comes in three different lathers, one for every type of skin and beard. For tough, heavy beards, Rise extra heavy with lanolin. For coolest skin-soothing lather, Rise extra cool with menthol, now medicated. For regular beards, Rise regular with extra soaking action. Choose the Rise that's right for you. The Savictor Sassoon Trophy, the prize that brought 198 entries to Nassau from a half a dozen nations. Two days of elimination and timing heats reduced the field to 33. Last minute repairs, engine and tire checks. Advice from teammates. And the usual starting trouble. The cart has no self-starter, and while the maintenance cost of a cart is low, the cost in elbow grease is often pretty high. Those carters have a long, tough race ahead of them. 50 miles of constant vibration. 1,900 turns that require perfect timing and coordination. The incessant noise. The heat of the engines at their backs. Dust and exhaust fumes in their faces. Number 24, move up here to 22. Because he's scratched. He's scratched. 199 scratched. Okay. Why do they take such punishment? For the money? Ego? For the cheers of the crowd? Or is it just that grueling and punishing as it is, kart racing is a lot of fun and excitement? Flagman Jim McGrath of St. Louis, Missouri, got the field off to a clean start. The cart snaked through the first corner without mishap. At 10 laps, young Bobby Allen of Miami had a lead of about 200 yards over Jeff Crumb, both of them driving Rathman exterminator carts. Tex Bell of California holding third. The drivers put cotton in their ears. 15,000 RPMs make an awful noise. Spins and slides are frequent. They don't mean you're out of the race, but they eat up precious seconds. Luckily, nobody got hurt in that one, or that one either. At the end of 30 laps, leader Bobby Allen found the groove, and each lap was identical. Tricky course and mechanical problems began to narrow the field. The 16-year-old Miami youngster was still showing the way at the 80th lap.
with the payoff portion of the race 15 laps away, every turn of the wheel, every ounce of body English, every slide became increasingly important. And the finish. Bobby Allen, leader since the 10th lap, is the world's champion Carter. It's over now. The fiendish engine noises, the bone-jarring vibrations, the twists and turns, and the almost unbearable fatigue. The gleaming trophy, more than $5,000 in cash and equipment. Expenses for a tour through Europe. The rewards for the perseverance and skill of a 16-year-old. 